welcome back this latest video uh, following on from my last one if you haven't seen that uh, is the Christmas snow village is the title of this but the house you might recognize as the National Lampoon's Christmas vacation house um, new kit I found on Aliexpress um, I haven't seen anywhere else it, it'd be available on rebrickable or anything would love to sort of comment and uh, let you know who's actually built it if anyone knows do let me know and I can uh, congratulate them because I think it looks it looks a great kit uh, over a thousand pieces has lighting um, doesn't appear to have any stickers so it must be printed bricks because uh, looking in the image there are some printed elements on here um, so yeah there we go quite detailed instructions up to 14 different stages I think uh, 12 different stages the bricks uh, the bags go up to so let's crack on with building this set thank you very much
here we are guys everything all finished lighting kit all installed all comes with it love the fact that uh, there's colored lights for the trees and yet just white lights on the house although you're yeah, in the movie everything was all sort of multicolored really but uh yeah i think it was great built some parts of it were a, a little tricky there's still some loose bits on on the top purely because the wiring was quite tight to fit in so it doesn't give you the amount of space required but little bits of detail there so you've got trees reef a snowman and a present out the front would have been good to detail it a bit more like the movie so you had some more of the props from outdoors um, perhaps uh, yeah, the, the memorable sort of junction box that uh, he uh, put the cables together to uh, get the lighting going which was great on the inside Again, it looks quite detailed, but there's still some things missing. I mean, flooring, I hate it when it's just studded. I like it when it's all tiled. It does look better. Um, you know, living room, it, it, the whole scale of the model needs to be bigger, really, to fit more in, because you've literally just got two sofas and a table in there. Um, there's not even a TV set up in, in that lounge. Um Obviously you've got the tree there in the corner and you've, you've got a little printed tile there for the fireplace with five stockings across it which is which is great. Although the Griswold family is a family of four so that doesn't really tally up. Um, dining room is a little mess because you've got the cables. Now the cables are a bit long for the uh, project. There's no real way. Well I suppose I could try and tidy these up a bit more but... Yeah, they just seem excessively long and you can't just easily adjust them or anything like that. Uh, but there is the with the uh, turkey on the centre of the table there as well. Moving upstairs you have the office, which is this one here. Great little Easter egg is on the wall there. There's an actual printed tile with the family truckster on it. Um, with the dates of the first movie, um, uh, National Lampoon's Vacation. All the way up to Christmas Vacation 2, which is the one that Chevy Chase wasn't even in, which was uh, 2003. So that's the, the last they list there, although there has been a reboot in 2015 since. Um, but yeah, great little detail just to remind people this is you know, supposed to be the Griswold family Christmas house. Um, although it only has one bedroom. Um, so again, yeah, if, if the... The build was made to a bigger scale, perhaps like the Home Alone size house. You could fit more bedrooms in. Um, and also the loft would be good to have a usable space because that does play a part of the film as well when he's up there and he gets trapped upstairs in the loft. So again, they could make a scene of the loft uh, as well. If you actually look at the sides, you've, you've got the sort of the windows that were in the movie as well, which are quite detailed. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really happy with it. I, yeah, it's the first I've seen of the Griswold, Griswold house. Um, would love it to be bigger and a better scale. Um, and I would love minifigs with it. I mean, it would be great if you had the, the Griswold family. Um, even, you know, the grandparents as well are over there. And and uh, Cousin Eddie, which would be really good. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. It's the first I've seen of a kit of this come out. Um Maybe that will inspire someone to build a bigger set to, to perhaps sit next to the Home Alone house or, or something like that. Um, who knows? What other sort of houses, Christmas films, would you like to see replicated? I mean, thinking of lights, um, Deck the Halls, that was a famous house that was absolutely covered in lights. Uh, more so than this film, so perhaps that one could be reimagined or something. But uh, yeah, what are your thoughts? Um, other little details I've noticed is you've got these little side shutters on these windows, but there is no side shutter on the end one of that, which I thought was a bit of a shame. Um, yeah, windows to me look a little odd where you've got like a clear brick above the window as well, which I thought pretty odd. Um, but yeah, here's what it is. Instructions were, were 
quite good. Um, frustrated me a little bit towards the end because as you could see, if you did see the whole video, um, it makes you build the whole roof, play, roof places and put them in place. And then afterwards, it then shows you a diagram on the following page of how to fit the light in, which then involves you completely stripping off all these snow pieces on there to secure the, the cable in place for the uh, lights. Again, why didn't they just integrate that into, you know, putting the light in there as you're doing the tiles? Because some of these tiles were a bit of a matter to be able to take off. You do get supplied a um, brick remover tool with it, but again, it, they're, they're not brilliant. Um, but there we go. Um, but yeah, it would have been great if, the, the, as I say, the attic lifted up and you could see inside it or something like that. But... Uh, yeah, quite a lot of steps. So I think there's nearly 300 in total in the end. But yeah, really enjoyable build. I spread it over a couple of days. Um, and yeah, I think it complements well the, uh, the RV which I built the other day, which I uploaded. If you haven't seen that one yet, then um, Please do see my uh, playlist for the uh, vacation series. Uh, I will be looking for others to see what other comes out. I'd love to build a family truckster. Uh, so yeah, I'm keeping my eyes peeled for any options there. Uh, I think there are some already brickable, but I don't quite, they don't look realistic enough for me. I, I For me to buy something, I need, the, need them to look uh, as, you know, reasonably good. You know, there's plenty of kits out there that look nothing like what they're supposed to, so I tend to leave those behind and just, just buy stuff that I, I like the look of. But uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Should LEGO sort of get a licensing deal with uh, with this series and, and build their own? I think it would be bigger. I think it would be better. So yeah, watch this space. Thanks very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe. I have got more coming weekly. I've got a backlog of must be 30, 40, even 50 different sets that I've still got to put on camera and build. So I will crack on with uh, getting some more out for you soon. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you shortly. Bye bye.